Let's go and sit on that chair. Come on. Morning, guys, and welcome to Sailing Croatia. Right now, we are on Lostovo Island. This harbor, despite not being very busy, is very sheltered. You have all these different islands all around here. And yeah, so the plan for today is actually to have a pretty short sail over to the other side of the island. We want to get to the southern side and find the hidden marina, as it's called, and just go to a few restaurants. That it's supposed to be very nice. This island is a national park and I kind of want to explore it because last night we were not able to explore just because it was already dark by the time we got here and also because we did such long sails yesterday and the day before we kind of just want to do a short sail today and explore and chill more during the day so yeah that's basically the plan I think right now we will be just having a quick walk around this marina and then we'll be off for a quick sail to the other side of the island. This marina is also a lot quieter than any of the other ones. It could be possibly to the fact that this is not a very popular destination to go to. It's more southern than those big popular places such as Hava and Barak and Split. Even the island that we were on yesterday, so Kokula Island, is a lot more popular for sailing charters than this island itself. I kind of love that the water here is very clear so far with all the harbors and marinas and the sails that we've done we've not been able to see through the water it's popular marinas are you know more polluted you can't really see through the water but this one you can and there's so much fish underneath our boat it's really cute and the uh, couple of fishermen right at that side. I will show you in a sec. Let me take this camera off the tripod. just at the bridge now that's taking us to the other side of the island and people over there have boats I don't know if you can see but there's no way of actually getting through from this side of the island because it's way too shallow here for boats to get past should be able to tell it's pretty pretty shallow and there are a lot of apartment places here but they're all shut because of course it's not the season but I can imagine even Croatians who live in busy cities would like to get away on this island just to chill and relax, it's so peaceful. I mean, there might be a few local shops in this area, possibly, but I also feel like people don't really live around here. If something, they drive here for fishing. I'm not sure if there are many people living here this time of year, but which hence why. As you can see, everything is shut. It really reminds me of Sardinia last year, if you guys remember sailing Sardinia. Clear water, beautiful islands and views all around. And also the fact it's very peaceful. It's a lot more peaceful. Like here in Hava or even Villa Luca, there's a huge difference. Here it's really all about the nature and peaceful and quiet. And I feel very safe here. 
where I say in Vela Luca it was very loud the cars kept beeping from all sorts of directions and I didn't feel all that safe around there I'm not going to lie Hava I felt safe but it was very touristy so it was very loud it was beautiful but very touristy very loud whereas here it feels just so peaceful There definitely isn't any left space for other boats over there but can you just imagine how peaceful it must be to be staying there? They look right as well! Look at those pomegranates! If it was out in the wild, I would 100% get these pomegranates. But yeah, it's best to leave them. I don't want to steal somebody's fruit. Can't really see it because of the shadow from the tree. But it says Nature Park, Lastovo Islands. Lastovo Islands. You can rent a scooter here. But of course it's hard, just like everything else. I'm surprised though that they didn't put the scooters away for winter. They just left them here. They will probably do it at some point though. I can't imagine them leaving the scooters there for the entire winter. Oh, this place, guys. It's so nice. I just put the fenders in for now, just left them at the side of the boat. There's someone in the dinghy sunbathing, literally. That's hilarious, and they started like dancing as they were passing by. That's the life to live, guys. Some bathing, enjoying life. Just packed the boat. We didn't get any help from the shore, but that's fine. We managed fine. I lost my nail polish from one of the fingers in the process when I was doing lazy line because I had to do both. I had to steer, be on the helm, and do the lazy line at the same time and do some of the ropes. And I didn't wear my gloves because it's quite a warm day today. And there's the restaurant. You can see straight there. This pontoon is owned by the restaurant i think isn't it mm -hmm. yeah this pontoon is owned by the restaurant and yeah we are going to go there i think now maybe have some lunch or have a drink or something i'm just putting the door in now oh i don't okay i'm gonna get the key because i've forgotten about the key oh. right your hat there you go And the keys. Can hear people in here. This place is already a lot more lively than the other place. You can see a lot more boats around than there's one currently parking. Time to see what's on the menu in this gorgeous little marina spot. I'm actually surprised with how busy this place is after the place we just went they've got some shrimps that were recommended to me by the waiter so not sure what this is 
I think it's some sort of seafood, this thing here. Uh, yeah, got some shrimps with some tartar sauce. So the Portoroso restaurant was incredible. Both me and my dad agree. Might have been the best shrimps that I've had ever. And the value for money is great because you get beautiful location, amazing quality food, and it wasn't too pricey. Look at these tomatoes growing here. I mean, some of them are dying, but we have a tomato plantation. But here and different vegetables. All right, guys, so we just had lunch at that restaurant and it was so lovely. Honestly, 10 out of 10, amazing. I think my favorite one so far was actually that pad thai, but this one exceeded all my expectations and beat all the other places by far. The shrimps were so nice. Probably the nicest shrimps I've ever had. And then we wanted to go for a walk, explore, but it turns out we can't really go much further from here. This spot is mainly for the restaurant itself because one way there was a bit of a beach so you can definitely go for a swim you can go on a dinghy somewhere from here but to go just get off onto the pontoon and go somewhere and explore that's a bit more difficult because there was a bit of a beach at one side but then you couldn't really get past the rocks and the trees and then the other side was basically private houses and some people had their own private jetties but you couldn't just walk through the jetties and then you could also go up the top but all it was was just a one massive road so you can drive up to this place but to walk somewhere from here we couldn't find any way of actually exploring this place but it's okay i think we're going to have a chill afternoon which is kind of well needed kind of need a rest it would be nice to have a rest maybe play some cards and just relax for a bit before a longer sail tomorrow. Depending on the wind, we'll see the wind directions and then we'll decide on where to go from there. I really want to go on the dinghy. The boat next door, the ladies from next door went on a dinghy somewhere. I really want to do that, but I don't think he wants to do it. Oi, let's go on a dinghy somewhere. Because we can't explore anywhere from here. Yeah. Let's go and sit on that chair, come on. Somebody needs to lift me so I can get on top of that chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you're gonna. I told you. <laughs> you're getting stuck. <laughs> <laughs> well done! Yay! The struggle is real, guys. The struggle. The struggle is real. Oh dear. but I don't really know how to get back down. I could be like a harbour guide, make sure I check the boats in and out and just sit here all day. Don't mind if I do. It's nice space, you guys. A lovely, lovely place. But yeah, this chair is really cool. I really like it. Right, guys. So it's gone dark now. I had to wash my hair. It always takes forever to wash my hair. But I just wanted to quickly show you what I've been testing. I've been testing these two shampoos and conditioners. At least I have now freshly washed hair. As I said, it takes forever. And yeah, by the time I finished, it's already gone dark. That's the thing with October here in Croatia. It goes dark very quickly. As in, from the time the sun starts setting to the time it's completely dark, there's only like about half an hour, half an hour of that sunset time. And that's why sometimes when we sail in the afternoon, we are a bit wary of the fact that it could go dark very quickly. And also the temperature drops pretty rapidly. It can be beautiful, hot 
amazing weather for sunbathing or for swimming during the day and then at night I literally have to pile on different layers like right now I'm wearing my pyjamas which are very thick fleece pyjamas because I'm a bit cold and of course I'm wearing my sunglasses because of the surgery my eyes are hurting slightly as usual after being in the sun I use these two eye drops if you are if this is the first vlog that you've seen of me I had a laser eye surgery and I'm not supposed to be out in the sun and the other day I was out in the sun a bit too long and then my eyes just started hurting really badly and they are a bit irritated now so I'm putting a lot of these eye drops that I have with me but yeah that will be the end for today's vlog it's an early start tomorrow so I'm just going to go to bed very shortly wait for my hair to dry a bit more and then go to bed but I'll see you tomorrow for another sailing Croatia vlog night guys My absolute favourite day is ahead of us tomorrow. We'll be swimming, relaxing and going in the dinghy at the stunning last of all island before filling our tanks with water and going for fuel ahead of a longer sail. Subscribe and don't miss out.